Okay, I'm starting another project. This is an Emco uh, Compact 5 PC. Um, I've already stripped the uh, electronics off of it. We'll go over that in a second, but I've pulled all the stepper motors off of it, the, the 110 volt motor, micro switches and stuff that we won't be, won't be using. Um, so we will be reusing these plates, the motor mount plates. And it's on its side because I wanted to really quickly show those that are taking this project on uh, how to remove the existing control cabin because I won't be reusing it. There are two screws here and then there are screws on the ends that come off. But there's also a bead of silicone that's running down here that kind of glues this cabinet to the back panel. So let me take you around here and show you. Alright, so what you do is... Once you got everything off of it, set it up on its end and then take a screwdriver and work your way on the bottom and start prying it out gently. Prying it out gently. And then add maybe a wedge, just another screwdriver, wedge it, and then put this put a big screwdriver in it and then turn it so that the blade starts to pry it. And then you'll hear it start cracking away. Let me show you, it's off now. And there you can see the uh, the silicone. That bead of silicone that's on the back if you're going to take your cabinet off. Um, I have put an acorn in one of these uh, these control cabinets but I had to space the back panel away from this and this cabinet was awfully tight to get everything in there. Uh, if you're doing something like clear path servos that don't have drives you'll get a little bit more space but I'm using a uh, lead shine uh, hybrid stepper motors which have encoders on them and uh, the customer I'm doing this for um, we used uh, an external e enclosure so I just wanted to show how to take this off so there's the, the two screws on either side and then there's you can barely see them here but there's two screws underneath the control panel that come off okay and uh, that's pretty much it um, taking the AC motor off is pretty straightforward. Um, we will re we will be reusing the motor bracket, but we will not use this pulley. The motor that's going on here is a three-phase motor made by TVT America. Uh, I will post a, a link in the description for direct replacement motor. Uh, it's about half horsepower. We'll be using the Automation Direct GS1 drive with it. I've done a previous video on this. I'm going to try and do a little bit more detail on this build. But it's all going to come from my cell phone. I'm not going to bother with editing. I'll just put Emco 1, 2, 3, 4. You guys can follow along, okay? Alright, that's it for now. Um, i got to order parts. Talk to you soon.